Hi, welcome to Cooler's Voice. In this video, I will show you how to install VMware tools so you can make the microOS uh, virtual machine full screen on your host system. This is the fourth video about how to install macOS. You may check all the links below this video about our other videos on how to install macOS at the virtual machine. After you install the macOS on the VMware Workstation Player, uh, you may find that there is some problem. For example, you cannot have a full screen for the virtual machine. Also, the mouse cursor is a little bit sluggish. And uh, more importantly, you cannot drag and drop the files between the host system and the virtual machine. For example, I cannot move this file from the host system into the virtual machine. To solve all these problems, you need to install VMware Tools. Now, VMware Tools is the software that enable additional features for virtual machine. For example, to improve the performance of a mouse and the keyboard. Also, you can make the virtual machine full screen. More importantly, it will enable uh, the drag and drop of files between the host system and the virtual machine. However, after you install the macOS virtual machine, you cannot install the VMware tools directly. For example, if I click this install tools now, I will see this uh, error message. Uh, also, if you install from here, click uh, Install VMware Tools, you will see the same error message. This is the, because the microOS installation uh, ISO file was already mounted. So you need to unmount the installation file, then mount the uh, VMware Tools ISO file, and then you can install the VMware Tools. I will show you how to do it. First, uh, let's close the virtual machine. Uh, now you need to get the VMware Tools software. Uh, you may Google VMware Tools and uh, click this link. And uh, click Go to Downloads. Go to the bottom. Uh, you will find the uh, VMware Tools package for the macOS. There are two file formats, one the GZ, one the zip. You probably want to download the zip file. I click download now. You need a, a customer account in order to download the software from VMware. If you don't already have an account, you need to create one. So click this uh, sign up now. And uh, just fill out all the required information. I already have one, so I will just use my current account. I just sign in and uh, click on all products, find the VMware tools, click on view download components, and uh, go to downloads. Then find the right file, and uh, you probably want to download this zip file. I already downloaded it, so I put it on the desktop here. Once you have this file, you can unzip it and just move this uh, folder into any place you want. I just put it on the desktop. Once you have this folder, you can start the VMware Workstation Player. Select the OS and uh, edit. Virtual Machine Settings. And I click on CD, DVD. You may see the Sonoma.iso file was mounted. Uh, this was also the reason that you cannot install the VMware tools directly after the installation. So you need to change this file into the VMware tools ISO file. So select this uh, uh, Darwin. This is the name of the current version of the VMware tools. Click open, and uh, then click OK. Now click uh, start the virtual machine. Log in. Now you may see the VMware Tools disk file was mounted. And just click it. And uh, click uh, install VMware Tools. 
click on continue, continue, install on a password, install software, click on OK. Uh, now you need to go to the settings to uh, allow the installation of this system attention, click on OK. Then go to uh, privacy and uh, security. And uh, just uh, click on this allow button to install the extension. Password, modify settings. And now restart yet. I'll close this window and then click on restart. Login again. Now the VMware tools were installed successfully. I don't need this file anymore, so I close this window. Close it. And uh, also I mount this disk file. Now you should be able to enable full screen now. It's in full screen now. The mouse is also pretty smooth. You can also hide this VMware toolbar. And now you have a full screen for the macOS virtual machine. If you go to the settings and uh, go to display, uh, you may see that the macOS virtual machine is in full screen mode now. This is the resolution of my current monitor. If you have followed all my all four videos, you should have a fully functional macOS virtual machine now. Finally, a uh, suggestion for solving the full screen and a uh, sluggish mouse cursor problem. The key to the solution is that you should have a good graphics card. Even if you have a good processor, if you don't have a good graphics card, you could still have a sluggish mouse cursor. So the key here is to have a good graphics card. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.